Good morning. Welcome to Morning Devotions for May 21st. I hope you had a great night's sleep and are ready to tackle the day ahead. And I also want to thank you for tuning in to Morning Devotions to get a dose of the word to help you in your path through this day. We continue with our Psalms and Proverbs for a pandemic. And today, we are going to tackle the 121st Psalm as our devotional material. The 121st Psalm is known as a song of ascent. What does that mean? Well, it means it's one of the Psalms that pilgrims would use as they traveled to Jerusalem. And they would, uh, whether that was from the Galilee or someplace else in Judea or somewhere in the diaspora, Babylon, Greece, Greece, Egypt, when they got to uh, the Judean hills, they would say this psalm. And if you've ever been in Israel, you know, as a matter of fact, that uh, the hills to Jerusalem are steep. And it's quite a climb. I'm thankful that I've only had to take it in a bus and never have had to walk it. But they have had to walk it. And as they walked it, this is one of the Psalms they said. I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. What a great promise. What a reminder when you're on a pilgrimage. And it's a wonderful psalm, I think, for life, because in many ways in life we're on a pilgrimage. We are walking through this life. And there's some very important reminders. And those reminders start in the first verse with the first half of it, which is a question. I look up to the hills, as one translation says, or I lift up my eyes to the mountains. And then it asks the question, from where does my help come? Well, the psalmist answers it and says, no, it's not in the mountains. It comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. You see, in ancient times, the mountains were thought to be where the gods dwelled. And a lot of times that, uh, in fact, in the Old Testament, they talked about idols being in the high places because that's where you would set up a temple to Baal or one of the many other gods of the tribes around or the nations around Jerusalem or Israel. But the psalmist makes very clear He's not looking for help from the mountains. In fact, the mountains could be perilous themselves because marauders and bandits often dwelled there. Think of the story of the Good Samaritan. That traveler was looking up to the hills when he was attacked. No, where does your help come? Your help doesn't come from the created order. Your help comes from the maker of creation the Lord God who made heaven and earth. Don't, don't look to creation to save you, but rather look to God. And it's a reminder too that as we travel to, through life, God travels with us. That if we allow him, he will not let our foot slip if we're on his path. And he doesn't sleep. He doesn't take a day off. But he is on, as they say, 24-7, wanting to guide you and help you and strengthen you, even in your most trying times. Finally, the path doesn't end in this life. 
God is going to watch our comings and goings now, but also into eternity forevermore. Now you might say, Pastor, I've had my share of trials. My feet have slipped. I've made my mistakes. Where was God in those? And what I want to say to you is what the Bible tells us is God was right there. He was right there wanting to help. And he did. And there's another promise added to that, that all those trials, all the struggles you've had, the mistakes you've made, if you turn them over to the maker of heaven and earth, the Lord, who neither slumbers nor sleeps, he will use those very things for your good and his glory. Where do you look for help? The primary place is the Lord God, the maker of heaven and earth. Let's pray. Father God, we do give you thanks that you are with us even our, in our trials and struggles. As we walk this path of light, path of life, Help us to look not to the hills, not to any false idol, not to any false security, but to look to you, to guide us, to trust that you're walking with us, that you are watching our comings and goings, both in this life and eternity. In your precious Son's name, Jesus the Christ, we pray. Amen. Be hope-filled, stay strong, and God bless.